Hi, I'm Laura Ramos from DMC Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine. And today on Game Changers, we're gonna be talking about protein. Which builds more muscle mass, plant-based protein or animal-based protein? Studies have demonstrated that protein supplementation can increase muscle mass, performance, and recovery if combined with a good workout program and a healthy diet. The first rule of thumb is to get your protein from a nice healthy diet. And if you're a boy or girl between the ages of 11 and 14, the recommendation is to do 0.5 grams of protein per one pound of weight. So if you weigh 100 pounds, you should take in about 50 grams of protein a day. Now the recommended daily allowance for somebody between 15 and 18 is just a little bit less than that. But again, all of this is dependent upon how active you are. The more active you are, the more protein you need in your diet. So what's the difference between a plant-based protein and animal-based? Well, animal-based is also known as a complex protein or a high quality protein because they contain all of the essential amino acids that are at the levels that the human body uses. Plant-based proteins don't have all the essential amino acids other than soybean does. So the key is in plant-based protein is what we call pairing. We need to take plants that have the different amino acids, pair them together, and combined, they will provide all of the essential amino acids at the level the human body needs for performance. Here are the general rules when considering protein supplementation for your workout. Number one, if you're choosing a animal-based protein, the gold standard is whey protein. Just look on the ingredients to make sure they haven't added in a lot of other ingredients like caffeine and creatine. The second is if you are choosing a plant-based protein, make sure it has soybean in it or that combined all of those plant-based proteins provide the full complement of amino acids. Third, look at the timing of when you're utilizing this protein. You should take it 30 to 45 minutes before your workout. If you take it right before the workout or during the workout, it just won't be quite as effective. And finally, determine exactly how much protein you should supplement with. Using too much protein in your diet can actually be detrimental. A good rule of thumb is to get your nutrients from a healthy diet. But if you do choose to supplement, please consult with your physician or a professional at DMC Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine. Do you have a sports injury or are you just looking to take your game to the next level? Then go where the pros go. DMC Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine for immediate care. Call 313-910-9328 or visit dmc.org slash game changer.